What's up guys, DRJ here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Black Ops 2 dedicated server support for PCs and why it's a big load of duty. So first of all, we need to talk about, before I get into all the details, we need to talk about why a dedicated server is a big deal in the first place. Um, I think this is something that's lost on the last generation of uh, game players because obviously consoles are so much more popular now than they were 10 years ago. Uh, evidenced by the fact that you can log on and play whatever Modern Warfare, Black Ops Online, you know, on Xbox there's like a million people on and then you look on Steam player counts and there's like fucking 5,000 or 10,000. Obviously the numbers are a little bit different. So the dedicated servers, the reason why dedicated servers are so important is because it's the fairest possible way for everyone to have a similar ping. Ping is what is referred to as your connection to the server. In Xbox or console terms, it's the little bars next to your, uh, um, I don't know, when you hit fucking start or whatever, that's the fucking bars there. Um, the actual numbers vary from game to game. To break it down though, what, um, what a good number is, basically, uh, anything less, anything over 100 is going to be difficult to play with a competitive edge. Um, I would say 75 to 100 is enough to play with friends and be enjoyable. Um, 50 to 75, you're doing pretty good. 25 to 50, if you're in 25 to 50 range, you're probably going to be one step ahead of everybody and feel as though you know you are you're nearing the invincible range. And anywhere from zero to 25, zero would be you are a host, aka console host. 0 to 25, you basically are untouchable, godlike, omnipotent being. Um, there is nothing anybody can do to stop you. You're a fucking juggernaut. You will always get the first shot off every time. It feels like everybody is slow compared to you, and you know, time fucking dilates as you walk around just fucking crapping on everyone. Um, that's my experience playing FPS games for the better part of my entire existence um, since they came into inception early on until now. Um, so the reason that's why, that's why dedicated servers are really big. Um, ideally, everybody plays on a server where it has, you know, like I said, the, the best average ping for everyone. So, which is usually tends to being central. So anybody in central location ends up getting an advantage there. But that's the way it is. Um, when I used to play Battlefield, Battlefield Vietnam, things like that, uh, nobody wanted to play on those West Coast servers because they all got shitty ping. And I know even I, when I was playing Battlefield. I refuse to play on my own West Coast servers because my ping dropped down like between like 20 and 30 and I thought I had such I had such an unbelievably unfair advantage and it was so different compared to 9 times out of 10 I played on a central server uh, with about 100, 110 ping and the difference was so unbelievable that I felt like I was cheating. It just didn't feel fair, it was a total joke. Um, I could play much more relaxed, not nearly as intense, and I could do a thousand times better. Well, I could do I could do better. Um, so that's that's my own experience. That's why dedicated servers are a really big deal. Also, well, this is where we start getting into the issues, in my opinion. People like dedicated servers today because they give them custom customizability, <laughs> and they like being able to set their own options and things like that, as opposed to playing on servers that they don't get to set anything. I understand that to an extent, but my gripe comes in because, well, what's going to happen is Black Ops 2 is released, and because servers aren't standardized, and because they give them so many options to fuck with, there is going to be no standard of gameplay in the PC community. You're going to end up with all sorts of fucked up servers as usual, uh, which has been happening ever since COD 4. You're going to end up with 72,000 players on the smallest map. I mean, what, it used to be 64, like 32 on 32 shipment COD 4. It's like the most popular way to play the game. Um, it's just a complete clusterfuck on every possible level. There's no semblance of anything related to skill. Not that there isn't COD in the first place, but there's... It's just total anarchy, chaos, incarnate. It's absolutely ridiculous. And there will be one to two servers that are trying to run something closer to like the console standardized map playlist. It's why I actually argued that the way that Modern Warfare 3 did it was... Man, I mean... What, was almost better or not any worse than not having dedicated servers. Modern Warfare 3 gave you standardized map lists, standardized playlists, things like that. Unfortunately, it gave you some weird, bizarre peer to peer host lag, um, whatchamacallit, uh, it tried to compensate for that. Really, really, really bizarre. 
And so Black Ops is going to take it the other way and they're like, oh, no more standardization or anything like that. You have freedom to do whatever the hell you want. So we're going to give you dedicated servers though, so you have a fair ping or closer to fair ping. But um, sorry, because every you know, no two servers you're going to play on are going to be the same. I think that you should have an ability to mess with different options and things like that. But I think that what should happen is that that should be available for non-ranked play. And then if you want to play ranked, that it should be standardized, just like the way the console is. Um, that way you can have your cake hopefully needed too, and people are going to be butthurt about it because nobody's ever going to be upset or, ha or no one will ever be happy or content with anything. But, uh, you know, somebody like myself, it's like, what's the point of, there's, I mean, the reason why I have such an issue with playing on, you know, FPS games on a console is because of the controller and the peer-to-peer, -peer. and so you come over to PC and you're like, hey, mouse and keyboard, only no, because now you get ping and, you know, dedicated servers, central, central most fair, whatever you can do. Um, ping wise, but then you get, like I said, a total random chaotic mess of servers, and most of them are going to be catering to absolute horseshit, which is somewhere closer to 30 on 30, 20 on 20, whatever. Just absolute mayhem playing the smallest maps possible where there is even less skill involved than the game takes, even when it's properly balanced at like 6v6 or whatever. Um, so that's why I think that the dedicated servers on PC is actually completely meaningless and it's interesting and a little bit ironic because PC gamers oftentimes think of themselves as, you know, more advanced or they have more experience and I think that they tend to do have more experience than a lot of console players out there but obviously that doesn't translate to knowing what the fuck they want because they are destroying the FPS PC gaming community by doing things like uh, creating servers and asking for as many options available as possible so then I mean look at the player lists I mean it's it's completely like I said landslide different Xbox has anywhere from I don't know 10 to 50 times as many players in any given time so not that that's the only reason why there wouldn't be as many people playing on PC but if you're one of the people that enjoys 30 v 30 shipment or something along those lines you know more power to you but um, you know, in my opinion, it's 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 right up there with you know, bashing your fucking head against a brick wall, watching paint dry, or playing Diablo 3. Take your pick. Um, as usual, comments, criticisms, critiques. Let me know what you guys think.